so you benefit from being who you are like what's the biggest um ish. i'm not an ugly nigga right ish. sorry but like <laughs> there were some hands that like uh. and now it's like if i pull up like, hey. And then what would you say specifically inspires your craft and like the way that you dance and you move besides other people? Damn, it is a person, actually. Mm-hmm. It's my father. Oh, okay. Yeah, Please. like he used to move. Really? He used to love music too. Okay. So like, I'm trying to make my nigga mm. proud, low key. Mm. And you can check my phone. I swear to God, I got deleted. Many, many, you know, TV city meter. Katara Mita Heke Feta Gari Pita gets wearing one of Mungo while the color she a keeper. And then uh, the haters are. I mean, I love you too. Because, like, if a hater watches your video, that's an extra view. Thank you. Shout out to you. Ooh, welcome and welcome back yet again to your favorite podcast, the 21st Century Podcast. You're locked in today with me, your host, Oceans Grey Ole. And today, I want to switch it up. I am locked in today with your fave, a superstar on the rise. He is a multi-talented overall entertainer. His name is Omene. How are you feeling? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Nice to have you. Uh, nice to... To be outside. You know? <laughs> Yeah, how are you feeling? Yeah. Are you good? Are you warm? Are you it's cozy? cool, hey? Nah, but the real winter with the hand. And like, imagine like, us na mo to even rest. Damn. We just got a ring, but like, oh, we're because that's the only thing I have. Oh. It's shit's bad. But yeah, yeah but before the Tomaka like, interview, nah, mm-hmm. I want to get into a young icebreaker, yeah, nah, so we can just get into the vibes, nah. No problem. So what we're gonna do is it's a game. You're gonna pick between two artists. I'm gonna mention two names. I'm gonna say this one versus this one, and then you'll tell me which one you think is doing well at the moment. Doing well or has good music, like that. good music, good good music. People relate and like you know they just doing the most. Sure. No problem. Sure. Sure. So first one, we're gonna say 25k <laughs> versus Aries. Damn, that's, <laughs> a, that's a tough one. Ne. So like overall in general, now if if you were to pick, and you have to tell me why. Uh, twenty five k. Okay. Because I relate, like mm, you know, that's and true. especially because like we're a here and there, everywhere actually. Yeah. So I like, mm. on but Aries, I won't lie. He's he's also hot. He's doing the most. It's but too much. That one is more relatable, ne? I get you. And then if you had to pick between Bobby Cooper mm. versus Mawu. Bobby Cooper. Why? That's the Pitori way. Hey, when you just repping ah, the Pitori people, you can't Pitori. disappoint. Ah, okay, bad. Last one between Kabza and Pori. Um, so I'm a dancer. Yeah. Kabza makes like chill music. Mm, Not I that you. So Pori. Pori makes the double. Pori's get on I, the move, I, I, like. I get you. I get you. Moving. All right, cool. Let's get into your background. So I know that you're from Pretoria, Mamelodi. How was growing up in Mamelodi like? Um, oh, me, I was a bad kid, eh? Oh. Like the day. <laughs> but like, it was okay. Like, it's yeah. not like not, like nothing major happened that I can say went wrong or, yeah. you know, it was cool, mm. I guess. And then if you're to give me a background in your family, what type of family do you come from? Um, So my father passed away mm-hmm. when I was very young. So I have my mom and my grandmother then on the on my father's side i have you know, there's a lot on my father's side hey. but it's like the people who support me they like it's like they took my father's place mm. it's like my father's brother he had a brother yeah yeah he's like always been there for me mm. you know mm. but yeah um my family's cool Good yeah i get you so <laughs> how understand. would you say your family has played a role in where you are right now damn they actually didn't support me. Really? Like in the beginning. Yeah. Because like, they gave me some homework, you know, I'm busy dancing there. And my mom, like, she's, those moms, like, all active. Mm. So she's like, oh, what's going on? I do homework. I want to video. Yo. Get a challenge. So like, but until, like, when I finished school, I went to res. Mm. That's when they were like, okay, 
go do your thing but mm. and they're happy now like they see the progress and i appreciate that yeah they allow me to do what i want to do yeah yeah. I actually want to touch on that. Give me a line. Yeah, how could TikTok on one of your tracks there? Onuri na ke java nyana marikis kisa jabuka. So she said, right? Yeah. So I, I want to ask that. you on that. <laughs> I want to touch on that, right? Touch it. So, how important is education for you? Well, as, as as a performer, as a general entertainer, do you think it's very important for entertainers to be specific to have some kind of education? Like at least. Plan B. Yeah. But I don't think it's that important because, like, maybe after you, you download high school, you can do your own thing. Mm. But A, you never know, eh? Yeah. It might go. It might not go the way you want it to go. True. Yeah. So, plan B, you have to. Mm. So, did you finish school? High school. I'm in tertiary right now. Oh, lovely. What are you studying? Performing arts. Ooh, I love that. I actually love that because you'll find people studying both medicine, basically they want to be an actress just to do it for their family. So how did your family yeah. feel when you said you want to go into performing arts? So it's not even about how they felt. Like, for my UJ, what, 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 they said, ah, boy, your max. Mm. You can't cut it. Mm. So after was the only option. Mm. And they were like, okay, as long as it's a school, like that's Lovely. what they wanted me, yeah. like wanted for me. So yeah. So do you feel like you're doing the school route for your family, or is it something that you genuinely want to just qualify your fight yourself nah, like, in? I actually like acting for real. Really? Yeah. So you want to get into acting? Yeah. Oh, like, okay. Next level. Yeah. Okay. I see. You mentioned Plan B, yeah? Just having a Plan B. Mm. Don't you think that kind of limits you, and you feel like, maybe sometimes I'm gonna get comfortable. I get to Plan B, and you won't work as oh, hard for shit. your Plan A because we're talking Plan B thing. Mm. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? Mm. Like I feel like you, st- you like you must have a plan B. Like okay, and I'm going. I get but you. But I hear you. That mm. one, you. Yeah, that's a good point. Ne-ish. But yeah, I want to ask you now into your career, your music. How would you classify the type of music that you make? Is that more piano? Like how would you classify it? Uh, pitori. Okay. Like outside. Mm. More nothing. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like the mood I go for most yeah. of the time. And if you were to compare it to any type of genre or like any artist music at the moment, who would you compare your sound to? Mm. My sound. Mm. Nah, nobody. Hey. Not that I'm doing my own thing. I get you. But like, ish. You're unique, you're different. That's what I'm it's saying. <laughs> I get you, man. And then, you know, like, usually, like, our young star, now they started off in hip hop, and he was mm. like, Yeah, hey, I used to rap, and it hey, wasn't working for me. I've been changing to piano. Mm. You know, did you start off with any genre to be specific, like both hip hop and so forth, or did you straight up just find your sound? Uh, I used to dance to hip hop oh. in primary. Okay. Like I was, that was one of those niggas. Like, <laughs> <Lene. laughs> <laughs> but after, after, um, uh, primary, but my grade eight. Mm. I think that was, that was the start of like piano. Yeah, like that's when I started to say, "Hey," like that's when I discovered that I can move like this mm. now. Like, hey, okay. So I'm like, especially because, like, uh, unfortunately, hip hop is not as big as piano in SA. Mm, I want to get to that. So I'm like, ah, why not? Mm, I get you. you so which moment in your career would you say helped you blow up and just get to you know where you are now? Mm, damn, I don't think like there's a specific moment. Yeah, it's just been brick on brick on brick on brick on brick on mm. brick. We are here. So you definitely think that the day to day events build towards the bigger picture. It's yeah. not just boom. Nah, there's no way. Yeah. Okay. And how important is association in your field of uh, work? Is it important? Or do they genuinely look at you know? Ah, owner talented. Yeah, they actually do. Really? I won't lie. Okay. Like, they they've also told me that dog, you must do this, you must do mm. this. You know, yeah, it's not it's not about who you're chilling with. Like, you can chill with them and still not benefit. Do the most. That's true. You know. Yeah. Because so, I've heard people saying like, ah, this one, she's not she, she's not good. But there is somebody also what what for her voice. It's because you chill a little mang mang. So yeah, I definitely hear your point. And then mm. you mentioned piano and um, hip hop and so forth. There's a bit of between those two genres. Like, Ish. what do you think it is between 
the piano proves and like the hip hop chain's not getting along because I know piano bona there's a sense of community. Mm. And I'll share about hip hop in South Africa, it's always mang and mang. It's never like, you know, collaboration, partnership. Mm. It's like once in a while. So what do you think the difference is between Batuba, piano and hip hop? Uh oh, that's a tough one. Mm. Mm, nani sata, nani. <laughs> <laughs> but like how can I explain it? Like it's piano ish I don't know how to explain it, but like piano's piano, bro. Mm. Like especially because like if you go to like a piano studio session, yeah, you're gonna find gang niggas. Mm. And all of them are gonna do this, this one is gonna do that, yeah. this one's gonna make a song with this one. So like I don't really see a lot of um hip hop sessions going mm. on. So like maybe that's limiting them to work with each other. Yeah, you understand? I get you. That's what I think. Ish, okay. Hopefully, guys, you guys will just form some type of partnership because, <laughs> as you can see, like hip hop in the country right now, it's a bit. Oh, we still have like a couple of hits and whatever things going on, but we need that type of a strong coalition, a strong partnership amongst all of you artists just to revive the culture, you know. Mm. But yeah, now I want to get into social media and just like your dancing and all mm. of that, you know. So, do you receive exclusives from artists? Yeah. Okay, and what's your relationship with them? How about funny exclusive? Do they say? Ayo, please share this type of dance or do you just freestyle and just like at the start it was that one mm. of yeah here's a song please make a video yeah but now it's just like like i like we grew like get the relationship mm. like we know more it's no more business it's like we're friends now oh, nice so now it's just like yo here's a song bro just listen to Shire it something. tell me what you think oh no nice. they even ask for your opinion Hey, we're going to be blind. Oh, I shall be on the side. Damn, okay. So I want to ask you a question actually about social media in general. Mm-hmm. So it's all the social media is universal. Everybody uses it yeah. and stuff. And apparently, well, actually, what we actually know is that once you put something out there on social media, it doesn't belong to you anymore. For you real. Know, anybody can just draw inspiration and all of that. Mm. Have you ever felt like you're being copied, for lack of a better term? Or have you ever felt offended rather that someone how wanna use my dance move? What's going on? Or are you are you cool with that? Nah, I'm, I'm not offended because I also do that. Okay. Like that's dance. Yeah. Dance is like everything combined. Mm. So like maybe if I saw you do something, I might do it. So if you if I do something and you do it, you know, yeah. I'm not gonna get mad. I get you. Yeah. Okay, I get you. Do you follow anything about women's business on TikTok? Because there's I, I wanna stir up something. Raising to women's and dabas. Which business? So, you know Nara Smith? The one who cooks. The one oh, who, who makes yeah, everything yeah. from scratch. Okay, I know. I yeah. know Nara Smith. There was a saga that was going around. Hore Nara, hey, hey. Usuite, di recipe, lady voice. It's that South, South African lady. Yeah. So, on a related to the question, your social media being universal and like, once you put it there, it doesn't belong to you. Mm. So, how do you feel about like, I already asked you like, where now personally, you don't feel touched. But how do you feel about a larger creative crediting a smaller creator for using their craft. Do you think it's necessary? Crediting. Yeah, like no, uh, it is. It yeah. is definitely. You have to. Mm. Cause now they're gonna say you're stealing. Mm. You know. That's true. Yeah. Okay. And then, what would you say specifically inspires your craft and like the way that you dance and you move besides other people? Damn, it is a person actually. Mm-hmm. It's my father. Oh, okay. Yeah, Please. like he used to move. Really? He used to love music too. Okay. So like, I'm trying to make my nigga mm. proud, low key. Mm. And yeah. what type of music did you guys listen to together and the vibes? Now, like I was young though. Like yeah. he used to play ish. <laughs> How old are you? Nigga, I'm probably older than you. I'm, I'm, you can't ask a woman, her age. Uh, why? Why not? Just know I'm, I'm not born in. I'm not a two thousand. Two thousand. I'm okay. I'm a two thousand. The dot. Damn. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm in touch with my. So how old were you when he passed? Um, four. Four. So you don't really have like any clear memories. Mm. It's just things that you just see. pictures and mm. people telling me that want to play your father. I'm like, oh. Okay. So you feel like he's just living through you. You're just trying to make him proud. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's Definitely. amazing. That's amazing. And then the father figures in your life. Do you feel like they filled that void? Besides, like, support. Obviously, like, everybody has a personal relationship with their father. Mm. Besides, you know, um, the void that they can fill. Do you feel like they've been present in your life holistically? Uh, 
let me say like yes mm-hmm. but my 80 percent yeah let me put it like that and do you think him not being around does affect the way you live your life and just the way that you navigate your relationships with women and like just life in general yeah i feel like like some things would be different if you're still here mm. but i don't know those things that's yeah. the thing yeah. I get you. All right, cool. Let's get into your personal business. Our Jola Kota. We me guy. Like Mohari. Yeah, my brother, <laughs> please now. Answer the question. Uh, it's getting there. Okay. See, so see, let me say yes. You're talking to someone? Yeah. Okay. Only one? Yeah. Ah, I don't like Keja Banyana. No, that's a video from 2022. Uh-huh. Bro. I grew. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. We evolve. I love that. So, if you were to tell me, you know, what's better between being with Joburg girls or Pretoria girls? What's Damn. what's the best for you? There's no best, but mm-hmm. I'm going to pick. Okay. And you must tell me why. Uh, Joburg girls. Why? Because I'm from PTA. Oh, wow. So, what's the flavor? No, I know how they maneuver. You know? you know how PTA girls maneuver? How are they? They too much. Like, oh, ish. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, what do PTA girls do? Oh, oh, wait. Now can we mute that? <laughs> but it's, 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 it can't be all of them, man. I, I've met some solid... Like, maybe the nigga didn't find out. Ish. But Joburg girls are also, hey. That's why I said I can't pick. Mm. And is but your girl from Joburg? Yeah. What's up, Uncle Ish, the one from PTA is going to find out. Nah. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, cool then. <laughs> now, I want to get into pretty much upbringing, man. You know, how does that shape your relationships? Because you just said that you're from moms, mm. right? You, and you say you experienced a lot of crazy things, obviously, you know. Yeah. Um, how did that just give you... Did it give you a different eye into the world and how you see things? And like, like now you said, hey, I'm go ka, 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 ka. You know, <laughs> did growing up that side change the way that you view things? I mean, it did a little bit because mm-hmm. it's in the hood, right? Yeah. So like, especially because now I live at Rez, every time I come back, I'm just like, damn. Mm. Like, niggas are not going to school. Mm. People are chilling. Mm. And that just gives me more motivation to push because I don't want to be there. Mm. You know? Yeah. So it's bad in the hood, bro. You know, I was actually telling someone earlier on, Hore Nam from the South. I grew up in the South. And a lot of people that I grew up with are like either hooked on drugs and all mm. of that. And we're so privileged, you know, to at least be fortunate enough to be offered more education and also just to discover our talents and, you know, what we For love. Yeah. Mm, so it's very unfortunate. It is. Hey, Sana. So people that you grew up with, are they like, like you said, they either just chilling at home yeah they're at home or like is it because of circumstance or is it because of a choice some it's like a choice they have mm. to like maybe but what you yeah but they are like school fees and mm. stuff some of them like they were actually smart and like they could have got like the bazaar and things like that but they, they were chilling yeah unfortunately hey man i mean there's nothing that you can do about that but do you talk to the boys around Duana? yeah i do like and no live up and I'm just like, yo, shout out, at, at least, least like yeah. you're putting bread on the table. Because I mean you're doing very well. Your social media has blown up. Challenges after challenges, dances after dances. I know you like uh because you obviously want more, you know, you don't want to get comfortable mm. and stuff. But do you think that you definitely serve as a role model even to people around your age? I mean I've they've told me that. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm very appreciative of that. Mm. Like imagine someone telling you you're my role model. No, no, I believe that. I'm joking. <laughs> How old are you, by the way? I'm 19. You're 19? Oh I'm my. turning 20, though. I'm turning 20, though. Or 19. At least. <laughs> right. You are young. But I'm saying that because you're doing pretty well. But yeah, now I want to get into the next steps. What's next for you and your career and your music? Just everything in general. So, like, I want to buy a studio. Mm. Equipment. Yeah. Cause like now like it's like i'm limited mm. you know because i don't have my own equipment i have to call someone and say yo can i please come record and like i i, I can go feel like I'm a yeah you know so like i can't keep calling someone and say yo hey studio studio so as soon as i get my own things i'll be moving we outside we're moving i get you 
all right so after the studio vibe do you already have like some tracks in the back that you're trying to record and push or like what's the vibe yeah like obvious like in the notes every day mm. i'm here nice you know? it all just requires consistency right yeah mm. and then the dancing are you still pushing that on a daily I'm there. that's lovely it's like this they work hand in hand that is beautiful what is it usually when you grow up with people or you see people around you you think that ah oh <laughs> ah but, yeah, in, in, but you actually don't see the depth within that person you don't see the dreams you don't see mm. the goals what for you besides your father would you say pushes you on a day to day like when you wake up in the morning you're like this like uh the people like i want to show the people that you can do it mm. it's possible mm. you know and i'm the proof mm. for now that isn't for now but like but it's when. It's mm. now, eh, nah. Mara, mm. like you get what i'm saying mm. so i just want to motivate because these people who come to me and say yo i've been trying to do this it's not working i've been trying to post what 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 mm. so like i'm posting to show you that bro like it's possible because i also started there at some point mm. and i got to where i am right now so if I can, you can. True. And if you were to give me Boma, Boma, two, three tips on how somebody can just elevate, you know, from living in the hood and wanting to push the whole music and dancing and performing career, what three tips would you give them? Uh, TikTok, number one. Okay. Uh, consistency on TikTok. Like, if you like still, let's say you just started your account. Yeah. You have to go crazy, bro. Like, every What's day. crazy? Okay. Boma, more than five videos per day. Draw different dances like go crazy okay but be creative also make like relatable content mm. you know just so like even if i don't like dancing but i like this video mm. you know then um what else i can say like be patient okay because ish it's a it's a, it's a long one mm. you know it's not that easy but yeah um last tip yeah I'm telling you, those views are gonna come. Uh, uh, but we, we won't be able to see much time. Shy, young. How? How? <laughs> but anyway, it's cool. Now we're gonna get into just you telling me how do you feel? You know, you benefit from being who you are. Like, what's the biggest? Um, uh, I'm not an ugly nigga, right? Uh, sorry. But like, there were some hands that like. Uh. And now it's like, if I pull up, it's like, hey, come on, fucking massage chilling. Do they nah, do that? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't groove like that, bro. Okay. I just be chilling. So, but yeah, like yeah. the numbers definitely, like kidding. Like if I ta, it will catch with Not me. Like let's say someone else looking at me, bam ponang karigin na because of the numbers. I get you. And I'm still the same. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. But how has, for instance, like the numbers and so forth just helped you push all of these things? Do you feel like numbers definitely help you to reach out to people like you said? Well, oh, yeah. They about, do. About whatever, whatever. Yeah, they do. You're like, like, I can call who? I can call Sleazy now. Mm. I can call Dabi. Mm. I can call Foka. I can call, you know? Yeah. Brick by brick. So those people that you mentioned even earlier on, Kadi exclusive. Which mm. artists would you say you have a really good relationship with? We talk about or um, I can say Tapi. Okay. Like we're really cool. Mm. Cause like I can't say Folka because it's Folka. Like he's my friend, but I still view him as Folka. Mm. You know, there's still that respect. There's still that a. Hey, that's Folka. You know? Yeah. So yeah. No, but that's good. I'm sure also your peers view you in the same light. You've grown so much. You're doing the most. You're mm. pushing, and you obviously want to also offer a sense of inspiration to those around you. Sure. And you're doing very, very amazing. But before we close, I want to ask you, Hori, or shopping and I can freestyling and I'm okay. I'm ready freestyle. On the spot like that. Please, even if it's about today, how your vibe was. Eh? Damn. Mm. Let's see. Told you about the notes. Eish. <laughs> that is beautiful, Shem. Uh, it's some other one, actually. I remember it. So the song is Ngono Machita. Do you know it? Ngono Machita by Yams. I probably do by hearing it. Yeah, you probably mm, do. Yes, 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 I know it, I know it. Oh, you know it? You know yeah. it? I just heard him say Yeah, like I, I wanted you to imagine it like... The beat. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, I know. Mm. Okay. No, no, Majita. 
Feri manyora noko bona senorita. Kinali baby nere dana magarita. Kimita mama kimita ka mama sita. You can check my phone as well. Gara ga delita. Mene mene ye no TV site mita. Katara mita heke feta ka repita. Ketwere ngwano mungo wale kala shi ye kipa. Slows it there. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I'm cooking. Dude. Shout out. What's wrong right now? But yeah, I'm trying. Like, pen game is gonna go crazy soon. Don't worry. It's already going crazy. And even the, the stuff you dropped from 2020, I'm still like, that was still good. You were cooking then. Even mm. though you were young, you were still cooking. Damn, bro. Shout out. That means a lot, bro. I hope your family knows that, hey. Hey, they know. But what about the next thing? What about the Afro Nation? Anybody? Hey. What are you yeah, I will pushing out of the country soon. Have you yes. done anything international yet out of the country? Um, Botswana. Oh. And, and Namibia. Mm. Yeah. And where did they find you? Was it social media? Yeah, social media. Social media is powerful. TikTok. TikTok to be specific. Stop playing with TikTok, bro. Ish, I need to. I need to get back on. T- I have followers. One more twelve k, but ish, eh? consistency, bro. Right? What What do you post? Me talking, and people enjoy that. Talking about what? Like just talking? Yeah, like general stuff, advice, whatever, whatever, whatever. Because mm. I do some other work, but mm. yeah, off social media. But I need to, and sometimes I'll post like brand work. If brands say, mm-hmm. then I'll post. But I need to get on that. You have to. If, if you're saying it, I'm going to do it. Do it. Literally, guys, I TikTok is powerful and the boy is cooking. He is outside. He's doing the most and it is not the end. We're about to see the most. We're about to see international superstar status. Could I, we're putting that into the universe. Amen. Do you have any final words that you want to say to your supporters and to just people that want to come up and be like you? Um, to my supporters, I can say like, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be, I would have, have not been here today. Mm. You know, like you, you weren't going to find me. You guys. That is true. So um that's like that's people who I prioritize like number one. Mm. Because without them I'm nothing. True. I'm nobody. So kick. Then uh yeah, man, I just wanna thank uh my friends also. Like I, I really have good friends, like really on some like, do you cook I dog you well done, mm. you know. So shout out to my friends too. And then uh the haters ah. Ugh. I mean I love you too. Because, like, if a hater watches your video, that's an extra view. Thank you. Shout out to you, Ooh, hater. That is beautiful. How do you actually deal with haters? Like, I'm in general? Mice. You mice? Bon. Even if you're a I I'm cold. Ah! I can't even remember what I'm Every second you want to respond. No. That's when you're cold. That's when true. When you respond. Sure. Right, okay, I've learned a lot from you today. Thank you so much for pulling up. You guys can find him on which platforms? TikTok, uh, TikTok, of course. TikTok, uh, Instagram, at oman1. Thank you. The only one. The only one. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment and share. Catch you next time.